Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can achieve a faux fish eye effect in Lightroom. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can achieve a faux fish eye effect like this in Lightroom. This is the original image that we're going to be working with. It's going to be edited and then adjusted using Lightroom and Photoshop to achieve the effect. And the reason why we're going to Photoshop is if the effect is not sufficient the first time round, I'm going to show you a technique where you can go to Photoshop and bring it back into Lightroom to reapply the effect. Now the important thing to do when you're choosing an image to do a fisheye effect with is, is to allow yourself plenty of image to blow out. And you also want something that could potentially have been taken with a fisheye lens. So you want a good stretch of horizon or a good amount of detail in the image and you want a fair bit of content across the middle of the image because this is going to bow out and so this horizon is going to end up somewhere around here. So once you've chosen your image, you'll get started. I'm actually going to create a virtual copy here. And this is virtual copy 2, so we're just going to track this because as we adjust it, we're going to be relying on coming back and having a look and seeing what virtual copy 2 looks like. Now I'm going into the develop module here and I'm just going to make my adjustments to the image because once I take this or if I take this out to Photoshop, then I will lose the ability to do some of these adjustments because I'm actually going to have processed the image into a TIFF. So I'm going to create a sort of fairly contrasty effect here with the image and I'm also just going to bump down the color. I'm thinking that there's a little bit too much blue here. So I'm going to take some of the blue out by decreasing the saturation of the blue channels. And let's also add some strong contrast to the image. So if this is my starting point, to create the fisheye effect, I'm going to go to lens correction. And I'm going to the manual option here. And I want to drag out the distortion in a negative direction because that billows the image out with a sort of barrel distortion. And this is the amount of fisheye I can get with this setting. Zero all the way through to this amount. And if anything in this sort of range is what you want, then you're right, you're done. But if you get to minus 100 and think, well, you know, I'd like a little bit more, then you're stuck because this slider won't go any further. You're also stuck because practically any other way of getting this image out of Lightroom, when Lightroom reopens it, it goes, well, I've already applied at minus 100 distortion to it and I won't let you do any more. Well, you can do more if you know how to do it. So I'm just going to right click on this image and choose Edit in Photoshop. And we're going out to Photoshop. And when we get to Photoshop, we're going to do the one thing that I always suggest that you never do when you're editing in Photoshop. And the reason for that is that you're going to break the connection with the Lightroom settings. But this time we want to do exactly that. So we're going to do exactly what we would typically not do. We're going to choose File and then Save As. And I'm going to call this Video Fisheye because I've got a few of these and I want to make sure that we can find this one later on. So I'm choosing Video Fisheye and I'm using Save As out of Photoshop, the very thing that we should not be using. And I'm going to click Save and then OK. And then I'm just going to close this image down and close Photoshop. And we'll go back to Lightroom. And inside Lightroom, we're now looking at the video fisheye. If I just put this file name up here, this is the video fisheye. This is the exact same image as we were working on. Let's have a look and see where our virtual copy 2 is. This is virtual copy 2. So this is the one we sent out to Photoshop. And here is the video fish eye that we've retrieved from Photoshop by using File Save As. We've actually broken the link to this virtual copy. And look at the lens correction options. The distortion here is at zero. Lightroom saying, well, this is what the image looked like. I am not seeing any distortion adjustment made to that image. And so now we're able to reapply that distortion all the way up to minus 100 again. Now that's too much, but somewhere in the area here is a sweet spot for this image. 
and so we can reapply the distortion provided we take this image out of Lightroom, save it as an image that Lightroom has no knowledge of and that Lightroom is not storing these settings in the image metadata so that we can go back to this image and then reapply a setting to it. And from here we could crop the image so we can crop it in from the size to create a more rounded version should we wish. So there's how to create a fisheye distortion, a faux fisheye distortion in Lightroom and also how to reapply the distortion if it's not enough the first time. I'm Helen Bradley, thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.